from Mill Springs. Thank you. My name is Red Cloud. I was born in Nebraska in 1822, and I died in December 10, 1909. I was a fierce warrior, and I got 4,000 warriors to fight the white man. I did not allow construction of the Bozeman Trail through my, through my land. I was part of the Sioux tribe, and I was chief of the Oglala Sioux Indian tribe. I'm Setting Bull. I was born around the year 1831 into the Lakota tribe in the Northern Plains. I've always wanted to be a warrior as a child, and when I was 10, I killed my first buffalo. As white settlers were moving west, they were taking Native American lands, and I refused to give up mine. There's a picture right there. I joined Buffalo Bill's Wild West show, became famous, and earned money. There's it right there. I died in 1890 when an Indian police force sent to arrest me, shot me in the head and then in the chest. I was buried in my homeland of South Dakota in 1890. I'm Black Hawk. I was born in 1767. I was a member of the Sauk Indians. My father was a chief. I lived in, the, in a large village on the Mississippi River in Illinois. I killed my first Indian with my hatchet when I was young. I was considered a warrior then. When my father died, I became chief. I had a battle named after me called Black Hawk War. I fought in the War of 1812 on the side of the British. I lost the war and lost all the land to the Americans. I died in 1838. Hi, my name is Pocahontas. I'm Chief Powhatan's favorite daughter. I was born near Jamestown, Virginia in 1595. There is a famous story about how I helped the settlers and saved John Smith's life from my tribe. A few years later, I was kidnapped by the English. They wanted to bribe my father. When I was free, I married a man named John Rolfe and moved to England. I changed my name to Rebecca and had a son named Thomas. In 1617, before boarding a ship to Virginia, I got smallpox and died. I was buried in Gravestone, England. Hello, my name is Sequoia. I was born in 1776. I'm a married Cherokee Indian with one daughter. I live in Coastal, Alabama. I worked as a blacksmith and a silversmith. I was the first person in history to invent the, a language called the Cherokee alphabet, I, which helped people understand treaties. I, I created a system for, for reading and writing in Cherokee. Before me, they only had, they only had a spoken language. I died in 1834 when I was 58 years old. Hi, my name is Steve Pontiac, and I'm from the Ottawa tribe. I'm from an area known as Detroit, Michigan. I was 1720 to 1769. I'm the leader of the Pontiac Rebellion, which is to fight with the British and the French over the Great Lakes region. And I fought with the French in the battle over the Great Lakes region. My, my federation fell apart, but my tribe made peace with the British, and I followed in peace on October 31st that same year. My life ended at the hand of Peoria Warrior. I am Crazy Horse, Sioux Indian. I stole horses from the Crow Indians before I was 13 and led my first war raid before I was 20. I earned my reputation among my people, not only by my skill and daring in battle, but also by my fierce determination to preserve my people's traditional way of life. In 1876, I launched a surprise attack on General George Crook, then united with Chief Sitting Bull for the Battle of Little Bighorn. In 1877, I surrendered and was killed in an argument with soldiers. Hi, I'm Desquanto, also known as Quanto. My date of birth is unknown, but historians say it is New Year's Day of 1585. I was born in what is known to be Cape Cod. I was a member of the Patuxent tribe. I was kidnapped by an Englishman named Thomas Hunt in 1614. In 1619, I found out that my tribe had suffered a plague. I was known for helping pilgrims. I helped them by teaching them how to fish and teaching them how to plant corn. I lived in Europe for quite a few years. I died on November 1st, 1622, at the age of 37. Hi, my name is Dr. Susan LaFriche Picot, and I was born in 18... 85 and died in 1915. I am from the Omaha Indian tribe in 
in Nebraska, and I am known for being the first Native American woman to get a medical degree. I got it in 1989. When I was a child, I watched a sick Native American die, woman die, because the local white doctor wouldn't help the woman. This later inspired me to get my medical degree and become a doctor. After I got my degree, I helped the Omaha people by being the local doctor. I am Billy Bullocks. I was born in 1810 and died in 1864. I was the most influential Seminole Indian chief during the Third Seminole Indian War, also known as the Billy Bullocks War. I listened to my tribe and took care of their sicknesses and problems. During the years of the Trails of Tears, the, the U.S. military tried to capture me and send me to Oklahoma, but they failed. I had lived a good life, and I died from, at the age of 54, and, but I died from smallpox, or, or white men disease. I am Geronimo, and I am a chief warrior for the Apache Indian tribe. I was born in 1837 in the Nodoyan Canyon, an Indian settlement in West Arizona. Mexican soldiers murdered my wife and my children in a raid of my village. In revenge, I led an Apache raid against the Mexicans and won a great victory. When the American government forced the Apaches to live on reservations, I fought back for my people. I was the last of the leaders to surrender to the American soldiers. I died in 1909 as a prisoner of war in an American military prison. I am Geronimo. Hello there, my name is Will Rogers and I was born on November 4th, 1879. I'm a, I am a Cherokee Indian from Oklahoma. I'm a very talented roper and I'm in the Guinness Book of World Records for throwing three assos at a time. I'm a great, I'm a great humorist and a smart philosopher. I've syndicated in more than 500 newspapers. I was a famous actor and I appeared in 71 movies. I wrote six books and I was the first big time radio commentator. I died in an airplane crash on August 15, 1935. My name is Tecumseh. I am part of the Shawnee tribe. I was born on March 1768, and I died on October 5, 1813, after the War of 1812. My father was murdered in the war, Battle of Point Pleasant. I also had an older brother. The Shawnee Nation was the largest group of tribes in Ohio. I am one of the Shawnee's greatest leaders. My name is Akshalia. I was born approximately 1787 into a Shellstone tribe. I helped explorers Meriwether Lewis and William Clark on the course of Discovery Expedition on the way to the Pacific Ocean. I served as an interpreter and guide. I died in 1812. Some say I died of future fever around age 25. Some also say I lived long or died of old age. Hello, I am Coach Hanks, the Apache Chief. I was born in 1805. I was trained to become an Apache warrior. Before we knew what was happening, the white settlers came and became our most feared enemy. They came and conquered us using bun guns and bullets, which we traded with the white men. They took away our culture and land. They put us on a reservation in the Tirachawa Mountains. After my death in 1874, the people left the reservation, which shows the white settlers won the war. Hello, my name is Lugasi Takata. I am an Inuit hunter and artist. I was born in August of 1942. I live in the village of Sanikaluwak in northern Canada. I hunt to feed myself and my community. I have to chart ice conditions in the North Belcher Islands. This allows others to hunt safely. In my, other, in my spare time, I create stone carvings and block prints in my surroundings.